light spiciness, light fruitiness, light vanilla. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have a blended whiskey here on my cask. It's a J&B Rare. 40% ABV, a liter bottle and quite cheap. So around 20. This is one of the most often sold blended whiskies or scotch blended, blended scotch whiskies in the world. And I think it's around number five in the global scotch whiskey ranking uh, behind uh, Johnny Walker, Red and Black and Chivers and Jane B uh, is from the Big Diageo company. And uh, this is an old and famous company Diageo acquired some time in the past. Uh, it's Justerini and Brooks and they have their main office in St. James Street, London, South Westminster 1. This is really in the center of the power. So there's just a, a stone throw away uh, from Buckingham Palace or Downing Street 10 or uh, Westminster and uh, they got a Royal Varant here on top you see it and the Royal Varant no they not only <laughs> had one they have seven by appointment to their late majesties King George the third King George the fourth Queen Victoria King George the fifth King William the fourth King Edward the seventh and King George the sixth and to his late Royal Highness the Prince of Wales but the other one 1921 to 1936. Uh, so they got a <laughs> um, they got it like a harvest data, a hunting bag of kings and queens on their label. Uh, it's like uh, you know the film King Ralph, the unforgotten Peter O'Toole counting the royal family tree, King George Edward blah blah. blah. So they all have it on their label. So this is famous and uh, the year established 1749. So this is really an old one, a really old one, a famous one, an old, old, old one. So they have all the, well, the history in this whiskey. And <laughs> to be, <laughs> ah, sorry. Uh, in former times, kings and queens drank blended whiskey, and today we, the people, <laughs> drink single malt whiskey. No. Uh, sorry about that. So this is mass product. So this is a screw cap. No plastic smell in it. So you have to be sure to have a good seal in this, otherwise uh, the screw cap may, uh, may get loose and then you have a problem. This whiskey is most often uh, sold, no sold, used in, in cocktails. It's mixed and uh, you know, I had difficulties in my vacations uh, to get this whiskey without ice. So and when they <laughs> poured me the drink without ice, they filled the glass just up to the top. Uh, well, um, there is malt whiskey in here, but I think it's only 15 to 20 percent malt whiskey. Uh, the rest is grain whiskey, so industrialized produced whiskey from unmalted cereals. And uh, well, and there are 60 percent water in it, so the amount of malt whiskey in here is, is, is quite little. Yeah. There is a significant amount of smoke in this whiskey and the good news is uh, the lead malt for the smokiness of this whiskey is Kalila. Kalila from the Isle of Isla. The smoke is stronger than in a Highland Park 
less than in a Bowmore, probably around, say, 15 ppm. It's light, it's sweet, light spiciness, light fruitiness, light vanilla. It's a light whiskey, but really good balanced. Probably a little bit of mm, almonds, no, not really. So a, a hint of spiciness, a little fruitiness, younger fruits, apples, pears. Yeah, have a sip. Still light, sweet, and then the grain whiskey coming up, showing it's a blend, but no bitterness. You often have this weird bitterness in blended whiskies because they use the casks so often that in the end all caramel and vanilla is gone from the cask and just tannins coming out of the staves. This one lacks this bitterness. So it's light, smooth, the aftertaste is quite short and I was, was asked lately uh, I should suggest some better blended whiskies. This is one. Yeah, so it's a good one for the price. It's around 20, so it's not too expensive. It's a huge bottle, a liter bottle. So this is good value for your money. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned, there's more to come. And please add your comments to our whiskey database and in our forum on whiskey.com. Thank you.